Peloton stock is down 10% since it published its latest quarterly report and 96% since its 2021 peak. The company's valuation has fallen from $45 billion to $2.2 billion today. To better understand what caused this performance, let's take a look at the business first. The company has been around since 2012 and has two revenue sources, connected fitness products, this consists of selling bikes and treads, and subscriptions, a recurring revenue stream that provides access to fitness classes, and a lot more through the Peloton app. Naturally, the second category has higher margins, as it doesn't cost much to get the content delivered to the final customer. While connected fitness products caused the company a loss of $200 million in 2023, the subscription product contributed $1.1 billion of profit. This illustrates Peloton's strategy, sell hardware products at a loss and profit over time from subscriptions. However, Peloton is not growing as fast as it did in the past. In fact, now the pandemic has ended, it's been losing revenue. As you can see, revenue exploded to $4 billion in 2021. But in 2022, revenues declined 10% and this year's revenue has fallen 22% to $2.8 billion. Shrinking revenue is one part of the problem that Peloton is facing. The second part is their struggle to make a profit. Sales and marketing costs for the latest fiscal year was $648 million. G&A cost was $798 million and R&D was $318 million. Combined, these operating expenses are much higher than the company's gross profit of $924 million. As a result, Peloton has an operating loss of $840 million and its bottom line net income is negative to the tune of $1.3 billion. In addition to not being profitable, the company has $814 million in cash but $1.7 billion of debt. This puts the company in an incredibly difficult position as the company's chances of going bankrupt are increasing every day. Of course, Peloton management is well aware of all of this, which is why CEO Barry McCarthy relaunched the brand earlier this year. And there are some signs of progress with 900,000 app downloads since May. But Peloton also continues to deal with unexpected obstacles. The company had to pay $75 million to settle a lawsuit with Dish Network. And management had to issue a recall for 2.2 million of its bikes after problems with its seat post. Subscribers declined by 29,000 in the latest quarter. So Peloton is not only facing problems with its hardware business, but its subscription business as well. All told, it's very difficult to bet on this turnaround story, which is why I give the stock a negative rating. But these are my personal opinions, not financial advice. For more detailed investing ideas, check out our website, overlookedalpha.com.